Finally, spring's arrived in the UK, and one of the first signs that you'll see of spring in your gardens are these little guys here. These are common toads. It's quite easy to get confused between frogs and toads, but the best trick that I ever heard was that if you had, have a look at their faces, if they look sad, so their eyes are going down like that, then it's a toad. And if they're smiley, then it's a frog. Also, the other thing that you can look at is their eyes. Their irises are um, orange and their pupils are horizontal. Final way to tell is instead of hopping, they crawl with this sort of sprawly gait. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to have a body of water in your garden to have toads in your garden. These guys actually spend the majority of their time on land and they only go to water when they need to lay their eggs. So you need to be really, really careful, even if you don't have a pond, when you mow your lawn, because that's one of the biggest dangers to toads at this time of year. Sun comes out, people are really happy, want to go out, want to have a barbecue, want their garden to look nice, so they get the lawnmower out. Of course, the frogs and toads that have come out to spawn, come out of their hibernation, might be hiding in that long grass and you might have a toad massacre on your hands if you're not careful. So please, please, please try and scout the ground a little bit before you mow your lawn so that you're not killing any of these little creatures. Whilst the females are on the way to the water where they're gonna lay their spawn, they often get ambushed by the males, who are these little guys here. They'll crawl up behind them and jump onto the back of the female and hold really tight around her armpits, sort of under her armpits. And he'll stay on her back while she walks around wherever she goes. He'll stay on there for probably three or four days or however long it takes until she lays her spawn. Now that's not so bad because he's quite a lot smaller than her as you can see. But I still don't think it would be particularly pleasant to have your boyfriend clinging on your back and going everywhere you go whilst you're pregnant and until you have your baby. No, I don't think I'd like to be a toad.